Welcome, this is my video for the practice problems for Math 3, 13.2, Exponential Decay. Just like the last section, the instructions here state the domain and range of an exponential function. So, here we go. One half uh, to the x power. Actually, I drew this wrong. The mother function, when the base is less than one, is like this. Or you could say... One half is really two to the negative one power, which means f of x is equal to two to the negative x. So it's the mother function that we have in yellow, but the negative sign on the inside says horizontal reflection. Bam, there we go. That's it. So notice this guy expands to the left forever, and certainly it shoots out to the right forever. So the domain, like every exponential function, all real numbers. And then the range. Well, notice it's asymptotic to zero. So there's the minimum value, but it never actually reaches zero. It never equals it. And then it goes up forever. So it goes up towards infinity. So there's the domain and range for problem number one. Problem number two, same thing here. So we have one-fourth x. So let me pick another color. Let's do the green. So there's the base less than one thing going on. So again, you can look at this. Here's the base is less than one. So it has the shape in green over there. Or you could say it's four to the negative one raised to the x, which means it's four to the negative x. So it's the yellow guy with the horizontal reflection. Either way you look at it, fine. Okay, so number one, what's going on? We have the raising to the power thing. So we have one-fourth to the x power. So that's the mother function that gives the graph its shape as shown in green. Then what are we doing? Then we're multiplying by negative one. And then we're adding three. So this guy here is a vertical reflection. And this guy here is a vertical shift. So we do the vertical reflection thing. So that means it's going to be asymptotic to zero and go like this. And this point here will be zero comma negative one. And then we take that guy, shift it up three. Boom. So notice when we do that, this key point here that was zero negative one down here. Now I want to go up three. This is zero comma two. And that's one unit. Above the asymptote, below the asymptote here, but because of the reflection. All right, that's it, yeah. That's one unit below the asymptote here. The asymptote is y equals 3. And notice you can look at that function directly and say, hey, the only thing that affects the asymptote is a vertical shift. So if the asymptote is normally y equals 0, if I shift the whole function up 3, that means the asymptote must go up 3 as well. So there we go. That's enough for us to say the domain. As it is for every exponential function, negative infinity, positive infinity, all real numbers. The range. Notice this guy is going downwards, so it's coming out of negative infinity. So there's the minimum value, which is no minimum value because it goes down forever. But the maximum value is 3, but it never actually reaches 3, but it gets as close to 3 as you can get. So open boundary on 3. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Okay, this guy here. So there's the mother function for a base uh, that's bigger than 1. So a base that's less than 1 is a vertical reflection of that. That's the green guy right here. But still with the same asymptote, y equals 0. And then all we have going on here is the multiplying by negative 1 on the outside. So this is a vertical reflection. So instead of being 0, comma 1 like it is up here, this point's going to be 0, comma negative 1. And then we do the reflection. Bam. Asymptotic to y equals zero. So the domain, all real numbers, the range goes down to negative infinity, comes up but does not equal zero. So the range is any negative number. Bada bing, 
Bada bang, bada boom. Well, that concludes this video. If you have questions that exceed what I've talked about here, or you don't understand what I've talked about here, contact me for tutoring. Other than that, have a good one.